we finally got our hands on the roadmap roundup for Wednesday, February 7th. And this time around, it's really exciting. You guys got to hear this. Star Citizen Alpha 3.23 is going to be huge. So now with this one, there's a few updates that they provided pertaining to the release view. And uh, let's just get straight into it. It says a replication layer update. It says testing continued for this important update to the persistent universe back and database. This release will remain fluid in regards to timing as edge cases are solved and performance is optimized. With this published, we're moving this card to the Alpha 3.23 column, but keep an eye on Spectrum and the Tech Preview channel for the latest on the replication layer. So that's a huge update. First and foremost, with replication layer being slotted for 3.23. That alone is already making 3.23 big, but you gotta wait to see what else is going to be in this patch. All right, it says here the following cards have been added to the release view targeting the release of alpha 3.22 patch cycle it says arena commander grav lev racing has been introduced i already mentioned that in the previous video and here is when things get more exciting it says the following cards have been added to the release view in alpha 3.23 patch cycle currently targeting an april 2024 release i initially thought that release was going to be in march but i guess it's april hopefully early april then late april the very first one that they have mentioned here is the star map rework a very exciting one that the community has really been looking forward to it says implementing the new and improved star map with improved visuals and usability including easier search and trip planning functionality this is going to be huge first of all the ui and the way it looks the way it feels it looks really good and the fact that you can search it is a big deal the mobi glass rework it says reworking the mobi glass system to use building blocks which will also allow for easier development of mobi glass apps this update includes reworked home maps contract manager and journal apps this is exciting up next is the fps map system it says implementing a mini map for the hud as well as interior maps for fps gameplay helping players stay oriented in close quarter encounters this is an exciting one as well up next it says personal and instance hangers this is huge guys it says creating new tech that creates an instance of a player's hangar to allow for uninterrupted management of cargo inventory and vehicle personal hangers are found at the player's home location and allows for customization and organization of hangar interior the very first thing I want to ask is, are we going to be able to rent hangar space at other stations in case we go somewhere and we are picking up cargo there? Can we have an instance hangar there temporarily to move our items into our ships or do we always have to be at our home base? Also, will we also be able to invite our friends over into our personal hangars to also help out as well? These are things I want to find out. Hopefully cig gives us answers soon up next it says freight elevator it says implementation of systems and content for players to physically load and unload cargo to and from their ships by converting cargo to and from hangars landing pads garages and docking collars and docking collars man this is this is nice this is nice man star citizen is actually actually turning into an actual game man this is this is really exciting man to also do freighting or cargo uh, transport is a big deal for an economy. So this is one of the things that I'm really excited about. So let's move on. It says item bank and unique item recovery. It says adding item bank kiosks to the persistent universe, allowing players to retrieve and store FES items at multiple locations. This addition will also allow players to retrieve lost account bound items such as subscriber flare. This is nice for people that keep losing their subscriber items. They can always retrieve it here. This is good stuff. It says new missions. It says cargo hauling. This is a big one as well. Making use of the freight elevator features. This mission type will have players hauling large quantities of cargo to earn both AUEC and reputation. This is one of the things I'm really excited about. Instead of always putting down my money i can always pick up cargo for a company or an or an organization and move their cargo and make some money doing that space trucking is always a fun and immersive thing to do and it's going to be ever more exciting to be able to do it 
in Star Citizen because of the fact that you also have to load the cargo yourselves so you have that full experience so the only thing that i'm concerned about is will the payouts be worth it knowing the fact that we have to load the cargos ourselves considering time next it says dynamic corsair it says combat helmets now support dynamic corsair which allow players for quicker target acquisition in close quarter situations this is nice eva tier 2 it says improved eva controls and animations for smoother traversal in zero g Later iteration will introduce limited EVA fuel and encourage the use of zero-g push-pull and multi-tool tractor beam. This is nice. FPS loot screen. It says introducing a new screen for looting critical items, allowing for a more reliable inventory management in tense situations. This is going to be nice. This is the one that we saw in the Squadron 42 um, trailer or um, gameplay reveal and uh, it looked really good so I cannot wait to actually see this in game next it says new character customizer it says implementing an overall of the player character creator for star citizen including a new user interface and additional customization options this is exciting cannot wait to see this visor and lens hud rework it says converting the visor and lens system to the building blocks for improved performance and flexibility next says distribution center it says create a new traversal area offering gameplay opportunities to corporate industrial environments this release introduces surface level facilities with underground areas coming in later updates this is nice it's up next it says dynamic event blockade runner it says introducing a new dynamic event that involves a criminal faction nine tails locking down leo and l1 and l2 rest stops it says players must run blockade and purchase and sell a percentage of quantanium before time runs out this is going to be nice as well up next it says reputation hostility it says add a new feature to the reputation system where players will encounter ai that are either friendly or hostile based on their reputation with the organization the ai belongs to this includes different friendly fire thresholds and defense responses interesting up next it says player interaction experience it says implementing the updated player interaction experience a holistic array of complementary features and systems are related directly to the player player status item status environment status as well as interaction with both the game world and objects within it are covered under these systems this is a big one as well i'm really excited about master mode it says implementing new modes to vehicles to manage their speed components and role specific functions this release introduces nav and scm modes as well as a complete retune of all ships this is exciting guys honestly man 3.23 is going to be a huge patch you, you guys let me know in the comments down below the feature that you're most excited about just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below as always leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video